everyone my name is niyanti padave i am studying in d12c at vivekanand education society's institute of technology my topic is network hacking internet a global system of interconnected computer networks don't we all love using internet because of the different facilities like email video conferencing social media internet banking sh- online shopping and much more but we are also aware about the cyber security attacks like identity thefts online money frauds hijacking of username and passwords and much more so let's see what hacking is and when it developed so hacking was developed alongside phone freaking means exploration of the phone network without authorization by overlapping both technology and participants it first started in 1971 by john draper hacking is a process of exploiting vulnerabilities by attacking a device while hacker is a person who finds and exploits the vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to the system there are different types of hackers like white hat gray hat black hat script killers and much more now computer network is one of the most fundamental communication systems in organization and home Network hacking allows gathering data by finding network weakness using tools. As compared to LAN, the wireless LAN has inherent security weakness. There is possibility of many network vulnerabilities since every network has network devices like Wi-Fi, modem, routers, firewalls, etc. but we can eliminate the well known network vulnerabilities now let's take a look at the network testing tools spam spade for windows on network queries from dns lookups to trace routes super scan for ping sweeps and port scanning net scan tools pro for network security assessment functions including ping sweeps port scanning and smtp relay testing nmap or nmap win for host ports probing and operating system fingerprinting network attacks can be carried out by using the following methods by finding network infrastructure vulnerabilities by scanning ports ping sweeping by grabbing banners or by mac daddy attack Let's take a look at network infrastructure vulnerabilities. Network infrastructure vulnerabilities are the foundation for all technical security issues in your information systems. These are the lower level vulnerabilities which can affect everything running on your system. That's the reason we should always test them and eliminate the vulnerabilities whenever possible. in order to safeguard from network infrastructure vulnerability hacking we should perform the following measures first we should check where ids or firewalls are placed and how they are configured we can check the network designs the interaction of installed security devices and the protocols which are being used port scanning and port sweeping port scanning is executed through searching of a single host for open ports while port sweeping is executed through searching of multiple hosts in order to target just one specific open port many times there are open ports on one's personal computer so there is a potential for the loss of data or occurrence of virus and at times complete system compromise the countermeasures 
for port scanning and port sweeping are first configuring the firewalls second restricting the traffic here is the list of some of the commonly hacked ports port number 7 eco service uses tcp and udp protocols port number 19 charge and service uses tcp and udp protocols port number 20 ftp service uses tcp protocol port number 21 ftp control tcp protocol port number 22 ssh service tcp protocol port number 37 daytime service tcp and udp protocol port number 53 DNS domain name system service UDP protocol port number 69 TFTP that is tribal file transfer protocol service which uses UDP protocol port number 79 finger service TCP UDP protocol port number 80 HTTP that is hypertext transfer protocol which uses tcp protocol so these were some of the commonly hacked ports banner grabbing banner grabbing is the act of capturing the information provided by banners configurable text based welcome screens from network host that generally display system information are banners these banners are intended for network administration now these are the counter measures for banner grabbing first customize the banner's display second configure the network's host's application or operating system third disable the banners fourth remove information from the banners next up is mac daddy attack mac address spoofing tricks that switch into thinking that you are someone else by simply changing the mac address and masquerade as another user this process causes the victim's computer to think that they need to send traffic to the attacker's computer rather than the true destination computer when communicating on the network the counter measures for mac daddy attack you can prevent mac address spoofing if your switches can enable port security to prevent automatic changes to mac address tables in your computer mac daddy attack detection we can detect the mac daddy attacks through either using an ids or a standalone mac address monitoring utility let's see what ids is ids stands for intrusion detection system An intrusion detection system is a software application by which we can monitor the system for any malicious activities. Here, if any intrusion activity is detected, then it is reported directly to the administrator, or this activity data gets collected into the SIEM, that is, Security Information and Event Management System. taking a look at the diagram we can see that the computers are first communicating through ids then by firewall then to the router and then finally they can get data by connecting to the internet that is before connecting to any internet network ids monitors the data and if any intrusion is found it will detect it now let us take a look at the different tools so the tools are snort suricata trend micro tipping point and cisco stealth watch the second method for detecting mac daddy attack is by using arp watch 
ARP Watch is a Unix based program which sends alerts via email if any kind of changes are detected in the MAC addresses of specific IP address on the same network. Thus, by following these two techniques, we can detect Mac Daddy attack. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please do like my video and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.